Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be seeing if you can actually edit 4K video on the 2018 base model MacBook Air. And to save you guys watching the whole video, you can and it's surprisingly good. Like seriously. So if you've been following the channel for a little bit, I posted in the community section a couple weeks back saying that for uh, financial reasons I had to sell my MacBook Pro. So basically I sold that bought this with uh, some of the money and then put the rest into savings. Things like this happen, you just gotta roll with the punches, the whole, you know, when life gives you lemons. Anyway, I picked this up because I figured at the very, very least, I should be able to edit 1080p video on this in Final Cut Pro, hopefully 4K, and it should be enough to, I guess, satisfy the video editing side of things uh, for professional as well as YouTube in the interim between now and when I can maybe upgrade again later down the track. But I was super, super surprised. So this is the base model. So it's eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD, and it's the dual core Y series 2.1.9, I don't know. Specs are here. It is the base model from 2018. Obviously I edit in DaVinci Resolve uh, for the majority of my professional work. So straight off the bat, it just didn't work very well on this. Unfortunately, with DaVinci Resolve, a lot of the tasks inside are GPU accelerated and they just do not work well, especially on something like this, which has a like, it's a Y series processor. So not very powerful, not uh, and more efficient in terms of battery life. So DaVinci Resolve didn't really work that well. Premiere Pro, just forget about it again, didn't work. But Final Cut, I've used Final Cut in the past. I have a license, so I installed it. It was always worked well in the past. And surprisingly, I could edit 4K video without any hiccups. Now, the most important part to me when editing videos is the smoothness of the timeline. Render times can, you know, sometimes they're long, short, whatever. Generally, I can get around a long render time, but if it's horrendous to scrub in the timeline, then forget about it. However, in this, you can see I've got a project here. This was done, I'll show you that this was actually on this MacBook Air, you see here the base specs. And so this timeline, you know, we've got lots, we've got a couple of title effects, and you can see that scrubbing through here is incredibly simple and easy. I was so impressed. It was not hard to edit the video at all. I didn't feel restrained by the hardware. I was able to just go ahead and edit. Uh, the more effects I added in terms of color correction and titles, it did start to bog down a little bit, but again, not enough for me to be like, whoa, this isn't gonna work. Uh, it was actually really, really good. Now, render times were quite high. You're looking, I was looking generally roughly double the timeline length. So if it was a four minute video, it was about eight minute export. That's roughly what I was looking at. But that being said, like, that's not that bad. You know, you can go grab a coffee, maybe put on a TV show, do something else, work on thumbnails, videos. There's other things you can do in that time while it's chugging away. And so the long render times didn't bother me that much. It was all mainly, you know, the smoothness of the timeline, which is superb. So why would you be looking for something like the 2018 MacBook Air? Well, Apple's just upgraded the entire range. So you've got brand new ones for 2019, which means the 2018 ones are super, super cheap. And so for those of you looking to get a new laptop, maybe you're looking for a MacBook, you can't quite afford the Pro, whatever. The base MacBook Air is like a thousand bucks. It's like cheap. Cheapish, I guess, for a, for a MacBook. And obviously, you know, you're gonna choose a MacBook if you want the Mac OS. They're obviously, I know, Keyboard Warriors, and Windows laptops with better specs, less price, we get it. But I think like this was really cheap. And there, you know, there's a few drawbacks, like 128 gigabyte SSD, that's just not, not enough. So I'm using a portable SSD, like the Samsung T5 ones, that's gonna get, that gets me through with video editing. It only has two USB-C ports, which, Sort of sucks because all my things USB-C and I find that three would be optimal for me. That way I can charge it, have two hard drives plugged in at the same time. But you get around it, it's fine, not a big deal. The biggest issue I probably have with this MacBook Air is the fans. Like uh, using the MacBook Pro 15 inch, I thought the fans were loud on that thing when using graphically intense stuff. But when rendering on this, like I was watching telly like just in the other room, I was like, what the hell? Like I thought a plane was taking off or something. Like it was loud, like proper. 
when you consider that this thing is meant to only have like one fan, it's loud. I think like at the base of it, this is a really great option for someone who wants a really light and portable sort of solution to be able to do your work. You can edit photos. I use Luminar, no issues whatsoever. I can do all my edits. I can bring things into Photoshop, edit 4K video in Final Cut Pro with no issues whatsoever at all. I don't get frustrated by this. It's super light, portable, slaps in your bag. Great if you have a beefier setup at home. You know, what's the point of having like an iMac Pro or a Mac Pro sitting at your desk at home, something you spent like five grand on, where, and then you're gonna go out and get a MacBook Pro because sometimes you travel a lot and you know, you wanna take something powerful. What's the point, right? If you can get away with something cheaper that still does the job, why not? And I think this is where this is a great option. For those of you looking to save a little bit of money like I was, but also wanna be able to get the job done, the 2018 MacBook Air, really great value for money, especially right now, because you can edit 4K video. And I think, you know, if you're starting a YouTube channel, it's a good option. If you, again, just want something portable on the go, great option. If you've got the extra money, you know, you've got the 2019 models there. And so there you have it, guys. You can edit 4K video on the 2018 MacBook Air, and it is way better than you would think it is. So don't listen to anyone out there saying you can't, because you can. Final Cut Pro works very, very well on this machine. The other editors, not so much, but Final Cut, yeah, works really, really good. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. See ya.